Danny from Ice and Mosh, but here with Scotty from Skid Row. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You? I'm doing well, thanks. Looking forward to tonight? Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Absolutely. We, you know, it's been so long since we've been to the UK that uh, or England. It, it's like it's been a blast. Yeah, it's been a blast. I mean, we've been hitting it every night, different city every night, and getting around, seeing a lot of seeing a lot of people from our past, old fans, new fans. Good mixture. Great crowds. You know, it's it's been good positive rocking, responses. Rocking for yeah. sure, man. I mean, we saw you um, HRHAOR, Sheffield Magna, uh, last weekend. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, wonderful that's... little, I say little venue for a festival. What a bizarre place, really. To it, was, have it, it was strange, yeah, it was strange. It was, it was like uh, uh, being on a sound stage or something. Mm. It was just like you clap your hand, it was just like dead yeah. silence, you know. Uh, how was that? How was that as a as a festival for you? It was it was it was cool, man. It was, you're, you're talking about AOR, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, one, we, the one, well, Rotherham as it's called. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. It's uh, it was good, man. It was good. Uh, it's, it's it was one of the bigger shows we've done over here so far, and uh, like like I always tell people, man, it doesn't matter the venue we're in. It's a small one, like you're gonna see tonight. We're gonna throw it down just like we would in a place like that because we we like the sweat boxes, we like the big rooms, we just like to play and and like like I said before, you know, being back being back over here with you all has been uh, it's energizing for the band. So when was it last time you were in the UK? Oh, man. Many many moons ago. It's been it's been a couple of years now. You know, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Uh, too everything, long. Everything kind answer. of blur. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely too long. Definitely too long. So uh, here we are, and we, you know we're gonna. At this point, it's going really well. So we're gonna try and get back here again before the end of the year, and it's looking good. Wow, it's looking fantastic! Good. Yep. Now I'm gonna mention this because Scott here is new to our rock rock uh, scene. All right. For Scott's benefit, what song do you feel would epitomise Skid Row for Scott to go and listen to after? Youth Gone Wild. Yeah. That would that that kind of. That kind of says where we're coming from, you know. Although, uh, although we're not as youthful anymore, we still have that. We we still feel like the same guys. We still present the same uh, message to our fans. And uh, and you know what's really cool is at this point, you know, being around for you know over 25 years now, we see uh, we see a lot of people at our shows that weren't even born when that song came <laughs> yeah. out. So they are the new generation of Skid Row, which to us is like awesome. Yeah. We love it. We love it. We yeah, love meeting these be. people and seeing them up there. They sing along. It's like wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's really good. Good atmosphere. Good yep. vibes. Yep. And um, is there much of a difference between a U.S. crowd and a U.K. crowd? It, it depends on the city. Right. Depends on the city. You know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> especially the U.S. being so big. Yeah. You know the 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 American South uh, crowd down there is going to be different from, you know, the Northeast and uh, maybe a, a crowd in California is going to be yeah. different from uh, from the South even. So so it depends on the city. Uh, you know, even even in Canada, you know, you go from it's it's not very far from Montreal to Toronto, but uh, the crowds are completely different. Yeah. You don't tend to try and alter any of the set list for the crowd. You still play the same songs that you want to play. We uh, we have a few different sets that we play, and and that's that, man. You know, we just like we, to change it up a little bit. We change it up a All little right. bit here and there. We give them what they want to hear, and then we give them what we want to play. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so from the headlining slots at the HOH era a while last weekend, mm -hmm. compared with the rest of the UK tour, are the sets going to be similar? They're 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 all similar. There are subtle differences, because we we have a set amount of time that we can play, but we have got a lot more songs that we would like to play. So we kind of interchange them night after night. Well, there's a few songs that we'll swap out for something else. Uh, you know, so I won't give anything away. No, no, and no. I was I, I, I get myself in trouble by saying questions like that. So. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> it's no it's no state secret, man. You know, we'll just. Uh, some of them are interchangeable. Yeah. Some of the interviews we do when we talk about to younger bands, um, they might have been going say four or five years, they start talking about the muscle memory on, on some of the older songs they like to play. Right. 
do you feel that the muscle memory is a key part for you guys on stage when you play in the sets? Because it means do you get a chance to be able to enjoy the crowd more? Uh, well, you know, I have this thing about playing where where I kind of like to get in a zone where I don't really have to think about it. Yeah. Uh, whether I'm whether I'm improvising, if I'm improvising, you know, I just I just like shut my brain off and get in like. You know, kind of like a Zen place, man. Yeah. And just, just, and just go. Uh, as far as performing the song, yeah, it's good to know a song well enough that you can, you can relax and all that. But it's, it's interesting because we, we did some extensive rehearsing for this tour, uh, and for us, it's all right. it's all right. yeah, I really don't like you doing. <laughs> it's all right. I'd rather, I'd rather not be on the receiving end of that. Yeah, so. I'll keep wondering because he's. I'm just concerned they're going in the in the direction of the gig. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, where were we? Oh, we were talking about you know the muscle memory. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we did some extensive rehearsing for this tour, and for us, extensive rehearsing would be you know five days of rehearsal. Right. That's that's more than we need. Just but, to get uh, everyone clicking back in sync. And yeah, but you know, during that period, I I mindfully uh, paid attention to. You know, just put everything into every chord I was playing and every note I was playing. Just kind of, you know, just reacquainting myself with something, you know. Uh, occasionally somebody will ask me, you know, how do you play this thing? Or how do you play this solo? And uh, I, I, I went back and relearned the solo to 18 Life and, and picked out all the little spots that I added over the years and went back and learned the original version to uh, do a video for somebody that asked me, you know, how to play it and all that. So. Uh, the songs, they they uh, they evolve over the years. So you know, you add a little thing here, a little squeal there, you know, a couple extra notes here. Um, so I don't know if that's to keep it fresh or or how it happens, but it's just one of those things. That does <laughs> the way it works out what the way it feels at the yeah. time. But there's not a not not a whole lot of really concentrating on what's going on. Man. You know, I like to when I when I'm playing with the band, I. I I divide it between, you know, playing as best I can without giving a boring show. So I like to give a good show and give them something to look at, something to think about, yeah. interact. I mean, I like to, I like to make eye contact with the people we're playing with, you know, that, so they don't feel like they're watching TV. Um, we again, we talked to a few American bands recently when they've come over, and they talk about a change in the the music scene. In the rock scene, in particular, from sure. especially in the US, because you guys have been around for a while, shall we say? Mm -hmm. now. Yeah, um, yeah. How how much of a change have you seen? Oh man, you know when I started playing in bands, you know, rock and roll, heavy metal, heavy metal was 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 not in fashion, uh, and since then it's come in fashion and out of fashion a number of times. So. Uh, we just do what we do, whether we're uh, whether we're the flavor of the week or whether we're out of, you know, people think we're the thing of the past. You know, we just, this is what we do. People that listen to us, this is what they do. This is what you do, man. This is what yeah. we're rockers, man. Life lifers. Yeah, it is. You know? it's a lifestyle. We always say it's part of our website. We say we're more than the music; we're a community. Sure. Part of that is it's the whole lifestyle. Absolutely, concept. man. You know, when when you know when I leave rehearsal. And go back home, man. I'm still a rocker, you yeah. know. Yeah, it don't change. The music you listen to is still the same music, sure. still the same genres. Yeah, but I will say I listen to all kinds of music. You know, I it, I always I always tell people, man. You know, I love spaghetti, but I don't eat it all the time. You know, so uh, there's uh, there's lots of different flavors of uh, all kinds of music. So even rock and roll. What would be the most far reaching away from rock and roll you'd feel like you listen to? Me, uh, we're not going to crucify you, are we? At this point? No, no, man, I'm not. A, no, I got nothing to hide. You'll be uh, fine as long as it's not Justin Bieber. No, <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, I'm not a fan of pop music. Maybe uh, uh, some Cuban music or, or Latin type of music or something like that. You know, I, would, I would enjoy that. I, I like listening to some old bebop jazz and things like that. I like uh, I like a lot of '70s music that I grew up listening to. Yeah. It's a, it's a good time, man. It's a lot of fun. It was a, lot, a lot of that stuff was very influential on me, so yeah. I, I revisit it from time to time because I can't find anything new that it really excites me. Yeah. So, do you have any uh, pre-gig rituals that you still adhere to? 
Well, I try and stretch a little bit, you know. Uh, and I didn't the other night, and I pulled something, and I was like, "Got stretch, man." Yeah, got well. stretch. No, actually, the key is I have pre pre gig rituals that I don't do anymore, which are very important. That I, uh, which yeah. would they be? Just no. Yeah, I just chill out on my party, and man. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yep. A slightly quieter life. I am an uh, I am an alcohol free guitar player. Fair enough. Yep. Yep. I'd love to be able to say I'm alcohol free, but not all the time. Yeah, anymore. it's it's hey, it's not for everybody. No, no, of course it isn't. So final question is after the tour's finished, you've got another couple of dates after tonight. Yes. What's the rest of the plans for the year? Well, we're gonna play that last show in London and then we're gonna boom head on over to Czech Republic and knock out two more shows before we head back to the States. Get back to the States, knock out two more shows before we head back into the studio to record the two bonus tracks for uh for the chapter one, uh, which will be released in Europe. You're gonna get United World Rebellion chapter one with two bonus tracks, cover tunes, I won't say what they are, but one of them, one of them, one of them's the one you'll know very well, and one of them you may, be, uh, you may have to go back into the archives and it's a little more obscure. Ooh, a bit more history. In yeah, there. but it's, oh, it's, it's always cool. Look, look, it's I was really fine. cool. You've always got to look back at the history, otherwise you don't know where, oh, yeah. where your musical yep. style's from. Yep. So, well, Scott, it's been an absolute pleasure for that. Thank you very much. Thank you.